Hi everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Nifty Knitting Ninja Podcast. It is January 1st, 2015. Yay! First show of the new year. Um, I hope everybody had a fun and safe New Year's this last week. Um, and there was no road injuries or anything. Um, and I'm just going to tell you guys right off. I have not been feeling good this week, so if I cough a lot, I'm really sorry, but yeah, that's what's going on. And I don't know how well this episode's actually going to turn out because my camera's messing up, the computer's being slow, and it's messing up, so this is actually take two. It's horrible this morning. But anyways, we won't linger on the negativities. Um, shoutouts that I have this week. And this is amazing. Usually I have two or three subscribers a week. This week I had six new subscribers. So thank you everybody so much. That's amazing. Love you guys. Thank you. Anyways, my first shout out goes to Ann Templeton on YouTube. Next one goes to Bev Stein. Um, and Lainey Walk. Lanny Walk? Not, I'm sorry if I said that wrong. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, ooh, let me look at my show notes. It's hidden right here. Knitting Sprite and Hank's mom. And last but not least is Daphne Bumpus. Bumpass. I think. I'm sorry if I messed up your name also. When you're reading stuff, you're not quite sure how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, we will get into what I am working on. I'm still using my big Christmas bag, and it's going to be that way till I get a different one. Um, I guess I'm going to show you what I got in my shipment, because I promised that to you guys last week. Um, this is not what I got in my shipment, but I decided to start some knee-high toe socks with this last night. I need help. I am addicted to knitting socks and I think I need to see a socks therapist or something. I know that there is actually socks ther therapist on Raverly, but she probably doesn't want to hear about my sock knitting problems, so I won't bother her. But yeah, <laughs> I keep casting on socks without finishing others and it's really horrible. But um, no, this is the sock yarn that I got in the mail and I love it. It is sunny yellow, bright green, Sky blue and aqua blue. Let me take this out of the bag so that you guys can see it a little bit better. There. But, um, they're really good at naming their yarn. This yarn is called Oasis. And I was having a really bad day yesterday, crying and tired and all that. I'm still tired today, but I was having a horrible day yesterday and I wanted something calming and cheerful and, you know, so that's why I cast those on. It's a very lovely color. And I did get three balls of it. Um, I actually ordered it off of Amazon and it was $11.88 plus $6 and some odd cents shipping. So it wasn't great, but it wasn't horrible. And also, uh, my Chai Gu needles that I told you that I got, they're not in the package because I already cast on something with them, so that's why they're not. But they came in this package. And you guys probably can't see that too well. But they are the Chai Gu Red Lace 60-inch um, circulars in the U.S. size 1, which is a 2.25 millimeter. And um, I also ordered these through Amazon, but they actually came sh through a shop called Handsome Fibers. And they're amazing. They are totally amazing. Fastest shipping I have ever gotten from anybody. Plus... With my order, um, I got 10% off my next order that I can use at Handsome Fibers. And again, that is handsomefibers.com. I will link to that in the show notes if you guys want to go check her out because it is, it's awesome. Fa like I said, fast shipping, c customer quality, it's amazing. Um... But I think the first thing that I'm going to show you that I have on my needles, and this is a old project that I haven't pulled out in a while, is my log cabin blanket. As you guys can see, there is 
a whole bunch of different colors. Hold on, my monitor is about to go off. There we go. There's a whole bunch of different colors in here, and I am working on the second, the well, the round of second stripes. Wait, that's this side. Okay, sorry about that. Of second stripes from the center. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna aim to do about ten. And what this is going to be is this is actually going to be a um, blanket that I am going to donate the project line as I'd like to donate at least three this year if I can. But um, I'll also link to their website in the show notes too because they're an awesome organization. Project Linus distributes baby, kids, teens, adult blankets to, you know, all the kids that are sick in the hospital and they have to stay there long term. So it's great. It's amazing. Um, ooh, let's see if I can get this out of here without getting all tangled up. I'm, not, I'm sorry, guys. I am not organized this week. <sighs> It's because I'm not feeling good. When I, you know, when you're not feeling good, then your brain doesn't work. So, but there's my clap of tea. No progress on that whatsoever. I haven't been working on it. I'm actually thinking about ripping it out and restarting it over because I keep looking at it and I know that I didn't do it right. So, gonna start over because now I know how to better do it. But, ooh, we are hitting six minutes, so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Uh, the Beast Sweater, that's what I'm calling it. It might look the same the last time that you guys saw it, because it is. I didn't do anything on it at all, which I'm bad. I, I am, I know. But I'm going to work more on this this week and try to hurry up and get a finish, because now that I got the sleeves finished, it's going to be a piece of cake to do the rest. So I'm going to try to hurry up and do that. Um, yeah. And... Told you everything's tangled up. You guys can probably see my bright green tape measure back here. Because this is also my project bag, but I'm not using it for podcast projects. Um, this is where my red lace chai goo needles went. Um, as you can see, it's got a, that red cord right there. And it's kind of, um, I don't know, kind of like a twisted cable, I guess, that's covered. But love, love these. The tips are perfect. They never split the yarn, but they're tight enough to do the K2 togethers and everything. Um, these have been knitting up like a breeze. I mean, I just love it. These are mom's socks. And no, they aren't matching because she wanted them not matching. But these are mom's socks, and this is my own personal design. Here, let's back up so that you guys can actually see a little bit better. It's just a lace. Um, eyelets followed by a slanting decrease. So I'm actually designing these as I go along and I hope that they turn out really well. They're going fantastic already. Um, oh yeah, duh, might help if I tell you a little bit more about it. I'm knitting these out of Patton, Patton's Croy socks in the colorway green striped rag. So there it goes. <coughs> See, I told you I wasn't feeling well. My throat's getting a little hoarse. Um, eee, better hurry up here a little bit. My Grand Canyon socks. I was about here last week, so I've done about twice as much. Only because I've been watching Round the Twist podcast and trying to power through these. These really are appropriately named for the Grand Canyon because they go on forever. I cannot just finish them. They won't end. They just go on forever. And I'm ready to be done with them. But yeah, I actually did get to the blue stripe in this sock. So, and I'm coming up towards a blue stripe in this sock. So happy about that because I love my blue stripes. You can ask my boyfriend. He knows all about that. And I have a finished object. I finished a baby sweater for my cousin Lisa. It is not blocked yet, which it's, pro it's probably going to get blocked. Well, it will get blocked. But, yes, I finished a baby sweater. It's really, really, really tiny because it's newborn size. But I put green and blue. I don't know how well you guys can see that. It's kind of blowing out the camera. But I put green and blue flower buttons on it. 
to match the yarn and it's adorable. It turned out really adorable. I'm not done with this set though. I'm going to knit like a little headband with a bow on it and then like a diaper cover and booties and stuff. And so Cousin Lisa, you are going to get it before the baby comes because I'm going to hurry up and do those. But yeah, it's not finished. It's meant to be a set. So that's all that I have to show you guys today. And I just wanted to tell you that my life has just gotten a little bit easier because my wonderful sweet boyfriend who is a photographer offered to, um, he comes up every, about every two weeks and he offered to actually photograph my products for my shop and edit them so that I don't have to take the time to do that and that's just wonderful. Thanks again sweetheart, I, I really appreciate it. Um, and I, yeah, I really hate to end this show with a sad note, but the reason why I was crying yesterday is because Saturday I gave my two weeks to my boss at work. And even though I didn't like going to work, I kind of had a love-hate relationship with it. So I'm quitting my job, and it's been part of my life for nine months, so I'm kind of really sad about that, but... So, you guys shouldn't have to miss any podcast episodes because I'll still be available for that. Sorry if you hear stuff outside my window. That's my dad taking down the Christmas lights. But, yeah. I hate to end on that sad note, but I am hitting 11, almost 12 minutes. So, I'm over my time. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great week. Happy knitting, and I'll see you again next week. Bye.